Lady Godiva was married to Count Leofric, who was a tyrant in the 11th century and imposed very heavy taxes on his people. In the 11th century, the people of Coventry, England, were in rebellion due to heavy taxes. Lady Godiva, wife of Lord Leofric, who increased taxes, thinks on the side of the people. He tries to persuade Lord Leofric to lower taxes. Lord Leofric, disturbed by his wife's insistence, makes her an offer that he thinks he will never be able to accept. He says that if Lady Godiva wandered the streets of Coventry on horseback, covered only with her hair, it would reduce the tax burden. At that time, it was embarrassing for even a single strand of hair to be visible. However, Lady Godiva accepted this on behalf of the people of Coventry. She mounted his horse solemnly. She hid herself with her long hair, even though it seemed humiliating. This was an honorable march that showed that we stood with the oppressed against the oppressor. But people had heard of this march before. No one went out that day. So as not to tarnish Lady Godiva's honorable walk, they closed their curtains. The streets were empty. As Lady Godiva passed through the streets, there was silence everywhere. It was just like an abandoned city. Lady Godiva's face was tearful, but not because of what she had done. The people of Coventry were proud and emotional as they showed their deep respect for her by closing their eyes. Lord Leofric keeps his promise to his wife and reduces taxes. After this incident, Lady Godiva's courage, determination, purity, passion and beauty inspired many artists and has been depicted in many different styles and has been the subject of sculptures throughout history. In 1891, French painter Jules-Joseph Lefebvre depicted Lady Godiva walking around the city naked on a horse.